All right guys, so today we're gonna to be working on still life photographing glass black lines. So as you can see here on the glass, there's actually a black line that shows up along the edges. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is grab your poster board, the black poster board that you hopefully picked up. If you didn't, you're gonna to need to have some type of black paper that you can at least tape to the poster board, but I would highly suggest picking up the black poster board. That way you can do this properly. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to need to do is go ahead and you can see I already cut some here, but how did I get to this part? All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take your poster board that you have. Here, and you wanna kind of measure it up. So obviously this can't be taller than this or it won't fit in. So I need to make sure that I measure just below. So I can measure that right there. And then very carefully, I'm going to just follow along the edge here and try your best to do a straight line. All right. Once you have that line bent there, you can kind of just come along and follow that all the way. And then now it will fit inside. What I would do is try and cut this in half now. So now you have two parts. This will be for each side. So now that we have those, we're gonna make sure that it's gonna fit in there. Now these you're just going to cut along one side. All right, so I would say you wanna have a nice wide frame there. So go a little closer to the edge. And again, you don't wanna cut all the way because that's gonna be the stand that keeps it up. All right, so then you're gonna do that again to the other side. So you wanna make sure that you roll down your parchment paper, because we're gonna need the lights to just hit the background, which is our white paper here. You need to find some type of clean glass. Then we're gonna slide our poster board cutouts here. And see how that fits, holds it up. Come to the other side and slide that in. Now you might need to reposition your light so that it's hitting the back with the most power that it has. You see the nice white background there and then the black lines start to show up. Now you might need to move the glass forward or back to get the black lines darker once you take a few photographs. I'm actually not really feeling this glass. Um, I want something that has a little bit more shape to it. So I did run down and grab uh, one of my other glasses. And put that there. I actually want to give it some height. So it's just a battery charger and a coaster. That's a little more shape to it. Now that we have those photos, we're gonna hop into Photoshop or Photopea, depending on what software you have at home. Okay guys, now that we are in Photopea, we're gonna open our file. So because I used a wood platform there, I'm gonna go ahead and change this to black and white. So just layer, new adjustment layer, black and white. And that's just gonna take some of those warm tones that were coming off of that wood coaster and bringing that into the glass. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave all of these default for the time. Next thing I'm going to do is go up to layer, new layer, adjustment, levels. And I'm going to bring my whites down. Bring my blacks up a little bit. All right, on our background, go ahead and right click on that. Go down to duplicate layer. Double click on the text and name that clean or edit. And then I'm just going to come in and make sure that any of the spots that are on there are removed. So you see a couple there. Again, you want to make sure that your glass is as clean as possible. That way, any of these spots won't show up and you won't have to do as much editing and post. I'm going to grab the dodge tool. Take the exposure down. Grab shadows. And just right here on the bottom, there's a little bit of bleed coming from the background. And since it's so small, I'm going to go ahead 
and just try and clean that up a little bit. All right, and then go to File, Save as a PSD, then File, Export as, JPEG. Then go back to your Google Drive, and you can drag and drop both of those in there. Then remember to right click, rename, after. And submit on Canvas your before and two afters.